Hey guys, welcome back to Wobble Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20. We're having a BMW, guys, 3 Series, Generation F30, F31. This is a 3 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you need to find where the relay for the ECU, ECM, also known as PCM, uh, or DME, guys. This is the engine computer. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find it, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping. And why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere, and you blow a few injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We will share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the engine computer, DME relay guys, where you can expect to find it. You don't have a special relay. You have multiple fuses that are known as relay fuses. And one of them is extremely hidden in the fuse box that 9 out of 10 people do not know that it even exists. We will explain that on a 2000 and 13 BMW 3 Series. Fun fact about that car, you guys have up to 6 different fuse boxes. Most people know about 2 or 3. We have a special video about the fuse box location. Check it out, it will be on our channel, guys. Here now we will need to start, okay, by checking multiple fuses that uh, uh, have a function of relays. If you come here in front uh, of the windshield, open the hood in front of the windshield on the passenger side behind the shock tower, you have one trim cover, remove it, underneath it you have a fuse box. Once you open it, you see that layout here. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So now, why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays? Because often you may think you have a good fuse, right? But uh, it could be guys a bad fuse. Sometimes it's really hard to tell, it's hard to see. You have different kinds of fuses. And each one of those guys, it, let's say you think it's a good fuse, but it's actually bad. You may end up spending time, money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need. So always test fuses. It takes only uh, a few seconds. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses. and how to test relays as well. Relays are easy to test, uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys. So check out the links will be in the description of the video below. Here we'll need to check multiple fuses, starting in that row towards the windshield, that's the front of the BMW, passenger side, driver side. Here you need to check fuse number 19, 21, 23. Also, you need to check fuse number 36, 37, 43, right here, then 44, 45, 46, 47. After that, you need to open the trunk, okay, and in the trunk, the main fuse box for the trunk is under the cargo mat right here, pull it out, right under that uh, yellow arrow, you see a fuse box like this one. Here guys, you will need to check specifically fuse number 137, right here, after that fuse number 144, 45 and 46. Now, we have a couple more guys, two more that are hidden, they're in a fuse box that most people don't know it exists. It's by the, on the driver's side, by the shock tower, you have that electrical assembly here, and right here, that rectangular piece that's horizontal, you have a fuse relay for the engine computer on top here. And then here you have five more fuses. The third fuse is for the engine computer as well. How we get to them, it's a sealed box. Most people just replace the whole assembly here, but uh, we've seen people open them. Okay, replace the fuses and seal it again. It's doable guys. Okay, we'll make a video how to do that coming very soon. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.